Hello, welcome, good morning, welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. This is episode number 14, and today I'm gonna talk about how to improve to a better and a new and up, upgraded version of you, you know, a better version of yourself. So this might sound interesting and fun, but I think you're gonna like it. So today I'm gonna to talk about how to improve, how to upgrade to a new version of you. So my friends, welcome again to Breakfast with Sergio. This is episode number 14. Super excited to be here with you, uh, joining for another breakfast. So thank you for those of you guys who join me on a regular basis here for breakfast. Uh, it is always so fun. We are live in Instagram. We're live in Facebook. Then we're going to YouTube, and some of you guys listen also through the podcast in iTunes or Google Play or also uh, in um, uh, Podcaster. So super happy, super excited. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today for Breakfast with Sergio. Again, so I want to talk about how to improve uh, or upgrade to a newer version of you. Now, this is uh, an episode that... Um, you know, it's for everyone, everyone who wants to listen. Some episodes are specific for artists. This one is for everyone who wants to listen. Now, first, like I always do for breakfast today, I actually was running late. I got up a little bit late, so I didn't have time to make myself a breakfast like I used normally do. Uh, so just today is just cereal, nothing fancy, just cereal, Cheerios with banana. That's my breakfast today. Maybe I'll have an earlier lunch because I'm sure I'm gonna be hungry pretty quickly with this light uh, breakfast. So uh, what I want to talk about today is, again, how to uh, upgrade to a new version of you. Now, this might sound kind of kind of weird, but hear me out for a second. I love technology, right? I love technology. I love how technology, you know, keeps upgrading all the time. Your phone, you know, you get apps and then you have to upgrade your apps to a newer and improved version, right? That is supposed to work better than the previous one. So we are now used to this idea of upgrades, upgrades. Everything has to be upgraded so it works better. So it's always the newer version is better than the older version. So this made me think a few years back, about three or four years ago, I was thinking about this and I was thinking, what if I could upgrade to a new and better version of myself? So I first started it as a joke and I told my kids and my wife, say, hey guys, I'm gonna upgrade to a new and better version of me. And I actually gave him a date. And uh, yeah, it was, a, I think it was a summer, like three years ago. And that's the story, that's a true story. I told him, you know, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade. So the upgrade is coming. You know, I did like like what the apps and the um, software companies do, right? They announce that a new upgrade is coming and it's gonna be better than the previous one. And, and it actually was, because I was improving some things in my life, I was starting to to do more exercise and things like that and be more proactive in certain aspects of my life. So I told my family, you know, my kids, uh, hey, and I made a phone, you know, I'm gonna upgrade to a new version of me. So it actually, the date came and, and it was all kind of just a fun thing. However, I took that seriously and I said, what if I could actually do this in a serious way and do something that I could actually you know, upgrade to a better version of me on a regular basis. So I came up with a process. I came up with a little life hack, if you will, on how to do this. And what I've done for the last three years is I go and I buy a notepad, a notepad like this. And in this notepad, so right now I'm in Sergio version 6.0. There you see it right there. <laughs> in this notepad, I write the things that are important to me on that particular season, things that I want to learn things that I want to keep for learning or also things that are important. It's not really a journal because I don't do this every day. It has a specific reason is to, is to upgrade to things I want to learn. So in this notepads, I, you know, there are sometimes quick sketches uh, that are all kinds of things. Uh, there may be like spiritual things that I want to improve in my life, you know, uh, that I have here, like verses and things like that. I also have uh, business areas that I want to improve, things that I want to improve in my art career. I listen to a lot of podcasts. So, you know, if I'm listening to a podcast on the on the car, when I get home, I take my 
notepad and I write down those, the takeaways, you know, the things that, that I want to keep, the things that I actually want to apply in my life. So um, I've been doing this for now nonstop for three years, three, four years, I think three, four, I don't remember. And uh, so I'm in version right now 6.0 of Sergio 6, version 6.0. And the way I, I make it work is I have, you know, in here in the house, I said the whole house is for everybody, but uh, my kids and my wife have the whole house and I have a little corner in the kitchen. That's my corner. That's where I keep my keys, my phone, my ring, you know, things that I need every morning. And in that corner, I it's, you will always find my, uh, my, or, you know, my, my Sergio version, whatever it is, my notepad is always in that corner. So it's an easy grab for me. Uh, again, if I hear something during the day that I want to learn, I want to remember it, I write it down in my notepad. Of course you can do this, I guess, uh, in, in a mobile device or something, but to me, there's something about having this little handout, uh, this little book and look at it once in a while and remember some of the things I wanted to, to keep, uh, to remember and wanted some of the things I wanted to learn to improve in my life, right? These are areas of improvement, uh, spiritually, personally, and in my art career, business life, and so on. And so uh, whenever I finish one book and I fill it all the way to the end, uh, like this one here is, this is version 5.0 and you see it's all worn out. It's so worn out that it even doesn't have the back cover anymore. Uh, and it's all kinds of notes uh, of things I'm thinking about throughout that season, things I am applying, things I am learning. Because I think you know, the purpose of life is to, uh, to, as you get older, to get wiser and to, you know, to be better than you were the year before. I assume that's, you know, that's what we all want to do. And if we don't keep track of it, how do we know that we are actually getting better or, or not? How are we actually learning something as we go through life or not, unless we actually record it, document it, and have something to look at. Because when you think about it, I mean, just think about it for a second. We are bombarded by so much information on a daily basis. I mean, right now you are here in breakfast with Sergio, you're getting some info. Next five minutes, you're gonna get some other info. You're gonna be scrolling to your social, getting more info, then you go in the car, you hear the news, more information, then maybe you listen to a podcast, more information, you're talking to friends, more information. So. We get all this information every day that goes from one side of the year, exits the other way, day after day, after day, after day, after day. You go to a, a lecture, you go to a class, you listen to that information, three days later, you forgot all about it. You know, uh, you go and you listen to a sermon, you know, the, three days later, you forgot all about it. Uh, you go to a podcast, you listen, oh, it's a great podcast. And then three days later, you forgot all about it. So for me, this little notepad is a filter. It's the filter where all this information that comes in, here's where I keep the things that I want to learn, that I want to actually apply in my life. And so this is a, a quick, quick uh, life hack that I've come up with that I wanted to share with you today uh, because you may have your own way of doing this, which I would love to hear. Uh, please send me a comment. You know, how do you do it? How do you keep, uh, you know, information that you want to improve in your own life? From all this array of info that we get every single day, how do you, you know, manage that? What are the things that you want to keep? How do you keep that uh, information in a way that is available to you? So this is one way, if you don't have, uh, you know, a strategy right now, it's a quick challenge, give it a try. You know, just go get yourself a notepad, Put it on a place in your house where you can really quick, get quick access to it. As you hear a quote that maybe you like, write it down. Maybe a lecture that you hear, write it down. What, what are the three takeaways from that lecture that you want to apply to yourself? Maybe uh, you uh, hear something from an artist that, that you admire and you want to keep that information, you know, write it down. That's what it's for. And I, only, I not only use it for info, I also uh, use it sometimes just to write down things, memories or quick sketches. Uh, it's all kinds of things like, you know, I just opened it to this page. This, this was actually a, a fun page. Quick story. A few, uh, a few months ago, uh, my kids and my wife and I, we went to a Starbucks and we sit down and we had some, uh, you know, some coffee and stuff. And I remembered a little game that I used to play with my, uh, with my friends when I was their age, when I was a preteen and a teen. And uh, it was kind of a, a fun little game about life and 
we play that and we had so much fun. You know, we laughed so hard at Starbucks here at local Starbucks that, you know, we decided to leave because we were kind of laughing too hard and people were looking at us funny. But so that's this, you know, so this will give me great memories uh, many, many years from now on how, how fun that was, um, you know, to connect with my kids and remember something of my own childhood that I passed it on to them. So my friends, that's what, uh, that's, you know, how I keep track of myself and how I can, I keep track of the things I'm learning. So that's my friends, a way in which you can, every time you fill up one of these, you can upgrade to a new and improved version of you. And I hope you have a great time. If you like this episode, please, 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 please click the share button, whether you are in YouTube or in Facebook, you know, click the share button. If you're on Instagram, send me a note. We'd love to hear from you as well. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Have an amazing day and amazing weekend as well.